Hello and welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to learn about conditional formatting in Excel with the help of real-world use cases. Here we have some sample data of entity name, month, year, revenue, operational expenses, software sales and service revenue. This is a huge data of a different number of companies and we are going to apply conditional formatting on this one. So without wasting time, let's get started. So let's say here in the service revenue column, we want to highlight the service revenue of those entities which are greater than $600,000. So what we'll do is I'm just simply going to select this entire column of service revenue by pressing Control Shift down arrow and the whole column is selected. And here we have the conditional formatting option. I'll click on this one and then I'm going to highlight cell rules and then we have the greater than option. So I'll click on greater than. And here, as you can see, format cells that are greater than here, we are going to put the amount. So we want to format those cells that have the greater than amount of $600,000. And we format them with the help of this green color and click on OK. And as you can see, all of these cells have been formatted that have service revenue of greater than $600. But there is a catch here, as you can see, for example, this right here is not highlighted, it's $600,000. So we can modify our formula to include the $600 as well. So I'll again click on conditional formatting and I'll go to manage rules. And we already have this rule. I'll select this one and then edit rule. And as you can see, it says sell value greater than $600,000. So instead of greater than, we will say greater than or equal to. This will include $600,000 as well. So I'll click on OK and click on apply and OK. And as you can see, $600,000 is also highlighted. Now let's say that your boss has asked you to change this green color into some other color. So here I'll again click on conditional formatting and then manage rules. Click on it and then we have this rule. I'll select this one and then click on edit rule. And in the edit rule, we have this format option. I'll click on this one and then we can select any color. Let's say we want to fill it with blue color. I'll select this blue color and then click on OK and then click on OK, then click here on apply and OK. And as you can see, all of these have been covered in blue color, but the text is not really visible. So I'm just going to undo my change. So let this be green color for now. Now, let's say that we just don't want to highlight this cell. We want to highlight the entire row that has a service revenue of greater than $600,000. In that case, what we'll do is we are going to select our entire data. So I'll click on this cell and then I'll press Control Shift right arrow and Control Shift down arrow to select all of our data. Let me just scroll up quickly. Then we will go to conditional formatting and then we'll go to manage rules. I'm just going to delete this rule. We are going to write a formula from scratch. So I'll just delete this rule and then I click on new rule and here we are going to select this one, use a formula to determine which cells to format. Now here we are going to write our formula. The formula is we want this value to be highlighted if it is greater than or equal to $600,000, right? Now here we have two dollar signs. We only need one. Why? Because this means that the column G is fixed with a dollar sign, but the rows can change because we want to highlight all of the rows that are greater than or equal to $600,000. Now to format with some color, I'll just click on format and then just select any color. I'll select this green one because I like it and then click on OK. Then again, click on OK, hit on apply and OK. And as you can see, we have all of the rows highlighted that have a service revenue of greater than or equal to $600,000. Now, before ending the video, we are going to take another example. So here I'm just going to create a new sheet and I'll quickly paste in some data. So we have almost same data of entity name, month, year and seven service revenue. And we want to highlight the top 50 companies that are performing well in the services revenue. So how do we do that? First of all, we will select the services revenue column by pressing Control Shift down arrow. 
let me just quickly scroll up for your betterment and then we'll click on conditional formatting and then we will say top bottom rules and then we will do a top 10 but we don't want top 10 we want top 50 companies right so i'll go to more rules and i will say top and here i will write 50 and we will use a color to uh, to highlight them so let's select this green color and click on ok okay and as you can see top 50 companies have been highlighted now similarly i want to highlight the bottom 50 companies the ones that have very less revenue so again we are going to select the entire service revenue column then go to conditional formatting and then manage rules so we already have this for the top 50 and now i will create a new rule and i will say format only top or bottom ranked values and then instead of top 50 i will select bottom and then here i'll write 50 and we will format them with a red color so click on ok ok apply and ok and as you can see we have these red color which showcase the bottom 50 companies that have very less revenue so that will be enough for this video now the practice sheet is linked in the description for you to download and practice so make sure to like this video share it with your friends and i will see you in the next one